Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going through a Primark haul. Um, I went into town today to take back a few items I needed to exchange and I ended up buying more things. And I was only in Primark last weekend buying other stuff. So um, I decided to do a mini haul. I have just recorded a haul that I did for Paper Chase. Um, for Paper Chase, from Paper Chase and I decided to do another one quickly just to make sure that I have enough videos to upload during my holiday that I have in a week and a bit. Um, like I said in my other video, don't mind the mess of me, my hair needs washed, I have dry shampoo here that I have not rubbed in, I have just been to get my eyebrows done so I have no makeup here everything else is rubbed off basically I'm a bit of a hot mess today again I don't have a tripod so we're making so we're just going to get stuck in before we do if you haven't already subscribed to my channel please do I would love to have you as a subscriber and if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know that you like it and I will keep doing videos like this for you. Um, apart from that, let's get stuck in. The first thing I got in um, Primark, actually probably the last thing I got in Primark, but it was top of the bag, was this little notepad. Now I did go to Paper Chase afterwards and buy further notepads, but I thought this was cute. It's rose gold and white marble and it says notes here in rose gold. Again, don't mind my nails. I said in my last video, I really need to get my nails done. I spoke about the nail polish I'm wearing and how it chips so much. It's the Barry M Sun Cured nail polish. Don't mind it, don't buy it. It chips quite a lot. Anyway, back to the uh, notepad. This was £2.50 <clears throat> and it's just a plain lined notepad because I write everything down. Um, I'm also wanting to start a planner for myself to get a bit more organised. I need to write down things um, for videos that I'll be doing. So, a notepad. I also, oh, I also, <laughs> I also bought uh, these cute binder clips. There is one saying urgent, to do, ignore and later. Um, they were 90 pence and they are rose gold and black. I'm losing where, I'm, where my camera is because I'm recording on my iPhone. So the camera is all the way up here, but this is actually down beside the screen and I probably keep looking at the, street, the screen as well. My bad. The next thing I bought, um, because I'm going on holiday soon and I'm sharing a room with my friend um, and we've never been on holiday together and we're pretty comfortable with each other, um, that's fine. But I thought when I come out the shower, you know, and I'm just milling about, she's not going to want to see my naked body, so, or maybe she does, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, so I bought this towel dress. It looks really kitschy, really 80s, really like grease. Um, but I got this. It's a shower wrap. How much was it? Oh, it was £7. So you just pop it on and it's basically like having a towel on. And I'm sorry, the way my camera is sitting because my tripod broke, it's, it's too high. Ah. Anyway, um, I got this just to hide my bit. So I just, oh my God. So I decided to buy, what is happening here? No. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> so I decided to buy um, just a quick gift for my, uh, my niece who is nine months old. 10 months old um but basically I saw some really cute clothes in Primark and they're not that bad price so I decided to just it started with a jumper and then it went on to jeans and then it went on to accessories so I just bought her basically a whole new outfit on a whim so I bought this cute little um jumper which is pink with navy navy hearts and it's so cute. Um, so yeah, I bought that. 
And then I saw jeans, so I had to buy them too. So I got her some skinny jeans. I don't know if she has skinny jeans. So I may have bought her her first pair of skinny jeans. Oh my God. And I've just noticed it's got pink on it too. Oh, these match. Yes. Um. So yeah, these are the cutest pair of skinny jeans I've ever seen in my life. It's for nine to 12 months and like these together, let me see, oh, the ankle was horrific. Like these together, oh, oh, but wait, this and then this. Will this fit me? Am I gonna break this? Oh. Okay, well, she might not get this because I love this. <laughs> And I can't believe it fits my head. Oh, that's so cute. So I bought this as well um, from, oh, whoo, everything's going wrong. So I bought this as well. It's cute, it's silver, and it's got some pink pom-poms. It was either that or a white one with big bunny ears, which I did want to buy her for Easter. But I thought, let's change it up and do this. So this was £1.50. Um, this was £7. These skinny jeans were four pounds, oh, it's so cute. And then I bought this here. So you get two hair bands with the stars, a clip, uh, or two clips with stars, and then a wand, and it's rose gold. So this was two pounds, but I actually think I got this for a pound. Um, so together, this is just the cutest. Um, my sister did say, what are you doing? Like, keep it for her birthday. But it's kind of cute, so I'm just gonna give it right now. Get some Annie points. Next thing I bought was just these shorts. They're really lightweight. They're a cute kind of tropical print. These are just to throw on um, when I want to be comfortable on holiday. So I do like the fact that they have pom-poms here. Um, so it was just, you know, something to throw on. If I'm doing my makeup, I'll go from my towel dress to these um, and a tank top or something just to get ready for nighttime. Also, I had a couple of play suits to take back. And I don't normally wear play suits, but my mum was like, you have to buy some, you don't wear shorts on holiday and I'm really self-conscious of my body. So no, I don't wear shorts, but I've decided to. So um, I had to take a few things back and exchange it. So the first thing I got, I didn't buy this originally, but one of the play suits that I had bought were then was then sold out. So I got this as a replacement and this is actually a dress. So it has the elasticated neckline here so you can wear it up there or you can wear it across and it has little sleeves and then it's just a lightweight dress and it has this really pretty red and navy pattern. I bought this blush pink uh, big choker because I have a blush pink duster, duster jacket I think it's called um, so those together would look really nice for the nighttime outfit. I want to be dressed up, but I want to be comfortable, so I'm going to dress things up with my accessories. Um, and I thought this was cool. This was only two pounds, so I mean, I also bought these rose gold hoops. They just come in a combination of sizes. Uh, these were a pound, and I thought if I want to have a small hoop day, a big hoop day, uh, a hoop day. The next thing I got. I may not use for its intended purpose on holiday. Um, it's basically, so it's a bikini bag. I had never heard of this, right? It cost £1.50. So it's just a navy, a navy? It's just a, it's like a waterproof bikini bag. So I think what happens is if you go swimming and you need to put your wet bikini back in your bag, you would pop it in here and zip it up and it's waterproof and nothing else gets wet. 
which is a great idea if you're going swimming, even at home when you're going to the swimming pool. On holiday, I'm not going to take my bikini off at the pool, so I don't see what the purpose of this is for holiday. But I do like to have little bags for holiday to store things in, so I thought makeup or anything and because it's waterproof it's perfect you know nothing's going to spill out or anything like that so kind of like a two-in-one purchase and I like it. This is to go along with the notebook that I bought. I saw this and I'm obsessed with white marble um, and rose gold but there's no rose gold on this and I'm obsessed with sticky notes for being organised and writing on. So I got this little sticky note pad. It has all different sticky notes. It was three pounds and it comes in a cute holder and it's white marble. So it called my name and I said, okay, I'll buy. The next thing I got, my sister have has these um, and I like them on her. Now I don't know how brave I am. So I put them, I put two colours in my bag. I put the black ones and the pink ones and I really didn't know if I was going to get them. I did put the black ones back but I kept the pink ones. So these are not slippers. These are flip-flops. Kim, Karda uh, Kim Kardashian, Khloe Kardashian wears something very similar to this, not from Primark. Um, but they're basically just normal outside flip-flops but they've got like a furry bit here. So I got these in a blush pink and I don't, oh no! <gasps> okay so I bought these in the wrong size. I bought them two sizes smaller than my what my feet should be. I know these look pretty big anyway. I have both feet. I've said it before. I bought a size five and I'm a size seven. Okay, anyway, so <laughs> moving on, um, I may return these or I may, can you return flip-flops? Oh, I think you can. Anyway, I may return them, I may exchange them, I'm not sure but I can't wear them with a size 5 because they don't fit me. That means I'm going to go, have to go back into town before I go on holiday to exchange these because I wanted these for, ta for a holiday. Oh, great. Next purchase I got were, I've been looking for the perfect black shoes that I can wear um, just with skinny jeans and cute top. So I always feel like boots look, ankle boots look great on other people. And then for me, I always feel like they look silly because I have such big feet and I'm so tall. It just, I feel like it makes me look like a clown. So, um... I've held off, I do have some boots, but whenever I go to buy boots, oh they have two zips as well. I need to start look I need to start looking at my purchases when I buy them because I didn't even realise these had two zips. Anyway, so I did eventually buy these. Um so they're just boots here and they have another zip in the inside. Um I haven't tried them on. Please tell me okay, they're a size seven. Oh um so yeah, just staple black boots. Um, all the other ones were too high, so these were kind of the only option I had. So I bought them. They were £12, I think. Next item I got was another item that I had returned to um, exchange for a different size. And this is a play suit. So just there. It has this pretty striped pattern. And I've tried this on already on the other size. This again can come across here or it looks really pretty up on your shoulder. So this was six pounds, um, really lightweight, perfect for around the pool and you can even like put on loads of jewellery and wear it at night time. So I thought it was perfect. Um, I actually really like these and I normally don't like them. I have a thing about what I wear on holiday, I don't... <sighs> Like, I don't feel like I suit a lot of things, so I'm really glad that my mum made me go and buy these because I wouldn't have found this otherwise, and I actually really like it. So, props, mum. 
thanks. You don't watch these videos anyway, but if you do, thanks. Um, so that was everything I bought from Primark. I need to now go wash my hair, pack my suitcase and clean the mess that I have made around me. Um, I hope you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for way more videos. Um, I try and get a video up every week. I try. Um, I will probably be uploading this around the time I'm on holiday. I will be trying to vlog my holiday. However, the person that I'm going with she I've not spoke to her about vlogging so um I will try to definitely vlog but the content that I have may differ if she wants to be in the videos or if she doesn't want to be in the videos um because I, I don't really want to be doing just so much footage of just me so um I am going on holiday with someone and it'll look like I'm away on my own um so I will definitely try to do that and I will try and get that uploaded as soon as possible when I'm back. Um, but apart from that, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment on any items that you liked or anything that you've seen in Primark that you think I may like. I do love a Primark haul. I kind of go there every weekend and buy at least something. So, I'd oh, I forgot to mention I'm probably not going to show you. I did go into John Lewis and buy some bras um, just on a quick last minute note for anyone who has quite big boobs like me. Um, John Lewis is great. I went in there today. I had to take back some bras that I had bought online um, and they didn't fit me. So I went for alternative ones. I spent £116 on four bras, which for people with bigger boobs, it's they're going to understand it's probably not that much. Um, I bought three t-shirt bras at £30 each and then the, um, you know, the woman that works in the fitting rooms um, who comes in and looks at your bras and things because that's what they do, um, she came in and she she gave me like this lace bra and I didn't ask for it and she was like try this on. So I tried it on and I'm not saying I don't wear lace bras and that I'm a complete prude and I just wear t-shirt bras um, but I tend to like a bra that has a cup that has structure and she gave me this bra and it was lace and it had no structure and I was a bit like I don't wear these like they, I just didn't I don't ever feel comfortable and I don't feel like I suit them and I tried it on and it actually was really nice and it was only £26 um, and she came in and she was like that looks amazing on you. Um, I don't know why she gave it to me because she was like if you're going on holiday you should you should take this, this black lace bra and I was like I felt like saying to her what do you think I'm planning on doing on holiday? <laughs> I don't need a hoochie mama bra for holiday like I'm cool okay that's not what I plan on doing on my holiday um I may not need a hoochie mama bra for another time but not on holiday uh <laughs> but yeah so she gave it to me I don't know why she says I must have it because I'm going on holiday so um I tried it on I really liked it uh so I bought four bras for 116 pounds which some people may think it's crazy. Uh, my sister, who has no boobs, was like, what? Like, flabbergasted. But, um, you know, other people will know that bigger boobs means more expensive bras. Um, and it, 30 pounds for a bra is not that much um, for a good quality bra for a bigger bust. Um, don't know why I'm rambling on so much about my bras but I thought I'd let you know because anyone who is looking for who has bigger boobs and who's looking for um, some good bras I would definitely recommend John Lewis um, I used to shop at Bravissimo quite a lot and they're roughly about the same price range I used to wear the panache I think t-shirt bra I think that's how you pronounce it um, I think it was about 30 pounds also per bra and I just felt like after a couple of weeks the stretch kind of gave and it didn't support me as well I didn't think the quality was as great so I shopped around and John Lewis bras 
I really like. So um, definitely check out John Lewis if you're looking for some good quality bras. I'm not going to show you them. That would be TMI. I think it's already on the verge of TMI, but we're all girls. Or we, not, we may not be all girls, actually. If there's any guys watching, you're welcome. Um, but anyway, I'm being silly now. So thank you so much for watching this video. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.